and we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you how to create a slide and split screen effect. We need three clips for that or you can also use photos. What I've used you can find that via the description below. So this is the first clip on video channel 1 and on video channel 2 and 3 I've got two more clips overlapped. Just make sure the second and third have the same size so you may want to use your cut tool press C for that. But I've already got the perfect size. So what I need now is to crop effect, go to effects, type it into the search function and then drop it on the files in video channel 2 and 3. So video channel 1, we'll leave that unaffected. Now we go to the effect controls. If you can't find these menus, go to window, click on effects and effect controls. And here's our crop. Let us first adjust it for video channel 3. And if you use, for example, 18% for the left, you want to add that up to 50, so 32% for the right. So now we know it's 50% of the screen. You can adjust the position top and down right here, but we want to adjust it first to the right. So drag it right here. You need to check the border on the right hand side, so don't leave these little spaces, it needs to touch the screen end on the right. Now let's do the cropping on the video channel 2 file, which is the one on the left now. You can crop it from left to right and then reposition it, but I think this left part is already what I want, so only adjust the right hand side and crop it so far that you touch the second clip on the right. Just like this. It's a Mac case because the clips have the perfect screen size, it's also 50%. You may want to adjust top and bottom position as well here. But if you do, make sure that you check the entire footage. So in this case, the camera moves automatically bottom to top, so at the end of the footage I might lose the bridge, so always check the entire clip when you do that. And you may want to position the top and bottom position a little bit. But that position should be fine, I'll keep that. I'll go to the starting position, so all the way to the left, for these two clips on video channel 2 and 3. And now we're going to create a slide in animation. And we can simply use the position and the motion right here. We'll start for video channel 3, so the one on the right. Go all the way to the left. And now use this function until your clip is gone. So we want to put it to the bottom first. And then it's going to move upwards. Click on the icon next to position right here to start the animation. Go a little bit forward. And then move it back into the screen. Just like this. A new keyframe will be created automatically. Now go to the other file, in my case it's video channel 2. You already have the right position, so just click on the animation icon and then go to the starting position. We know that the second clip comes from the bottom up, so we want to make the first clip come from the top down. So just drag this one up until you can't see it anymore. Up to this point. And make sure this keyframe is at the starting position. So I'll drag that a little bit to the left, but that's fine. And now if I roll the clip, we've got this slide and split screen created. By default, this animation it uses a linear interpolation. Or we can select it all, right click temporal interpolation and then ease it in and that slows it down a little bit to the end and it makes it look a little bit smoother. So you want to do that as well. Do it for both clips. Let us roll the clip again and this is how you can create this slide and split screen effect in Premiere Pro. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.